Hi guys. So today we're going to put a dbrand skin on a MacBook. Uh, so this is a 2023 MacBook Pro 14 inch. I just got it. It's my new work computer. And this is a skin set that I ordered from a company called dbrand. I'm not sponsored by dbrand, but I do like their products and I've ordered them multiple times before. So they sell these, um, sets of skins for specific products. This is how they arrive. So you can see the uh, packaging here. There's actually like install guides on their website that are pretty good. Um, I've done many of these before, so I'm gonna show you how I do it and we'll go from there. So there's the bottom and here is the inside. And then they also give you a cleaning cloth. So, like I mentioned, this is a um, 2023 MacBook Pro, and it is a 14 inch model. Um, so it's a brand new unit, brand new um, size device. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna make sure your device is clean, as clean as can be. Um, ideally, you would be doing this on a brand new device, meaning you would have these skins before your device arrives. I tend to order MacBooks because I want custom configs. So um, I try to order, um, my MacBook and my skin at the same time, and usually my skin will arrive before my MacBook. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the skin and we're going to shift this white piece back diagonally on one corner. So we're gonna take this, we're going to peel this guy off like that. And we want to shift this, not a lot, but about that much. So like leave an inch of gap. And essentially what we want to do is we want to take this, keeping, uh, taking care to look at the Apple logo and figure out the orientation. And we want to center this on the, um, on the Mac. So really what you're looking at is you're looking at the gap here versus here and here versus here and just making sure that this, that this is at a right angle and that the gap is uniform. There will be a gap on all edges and that is for a reason. It keeps you from catching the, um, the edge. So what we're gonna do is we're going to push this in. We're gonna work our way down like that and we're going to work our way down like that. And we can see that our gap is uniform. And as long as your gap is uniform, what should happen when you pull this is you should end up with a uniform gap all the way down these two edges as well. So if you see here, I just kind of pull this back a little bit and we're gonna do the same thing again, like that. The same thing again, like that. And dbrand shows you this in their install guide, but it's fairly easy to do. So I'll do it again, like that, again, like that. And then we'll do it again, like that and like that. Um, a lot of people want to um, line up the logo first. And honestly, that's the wrong way to go about it. And the reason that I say that is because the logo is actually, um, the apple on the device is slightly larger than the cutout on the skin. So the reality is if you center the Apple logo in the cutout, there's a possibility you're going to end up with a gap um, on one edge or another that's not flat. So if you have any bubbles or anything like that, you wanna take this time to push them out to make sure everything looks good. You can kind of peel this up and adjust it if you need to, but really if you've, um, if you've taken your time and you've done it, I mean, I just did this in a minute um, or so, uh, you can kind of do this pretty quick, especially if you've done a couple of them. This is my third or fourth one. And I will say these hold up really, really well. Like my last one that I did on video, I've had now for a year. The thing still looks like the day that I installed it. Um, so that one's installed, very easy. Now we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna clean the bottom. So on the bottom, we're just gonna Give it a little clean. Uh, this is McKee's 913. You can use glass cleaner, pretty much anything that doesn't leave a residue. Isopropyl alcohol would work. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's nice and clean. 
So, on the bottom, you'll notice that there's a side with a cut and a side without. So we need to match those up. So it's gonna look like this. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. So let's take this, peel this backing off. And then, And for this one, I just like to be like kind of split in the first couple holes. So halfway through there, halfway through there. And what I'm doing here on this one is I'm kind of lining up these bolt holes or screw holes rather, and the uh, feet. So if I line up this foot and that foot and I line up the screw hole there and I just kind of loosely Put it on. I've got a little bit of adjustment to make on this corner, so we'll peel that up and we'll just make sure that this looks good. And the thing that you want to be very careful about is that vinyl is stretchy. This vinyl has memory, so if you stretch it and you just pick it up and let it go, it'll kind of go back to where it's supposed to be. But if you're pulling on it as you're pushing this down, you'll actually like stretch it and end up with it not lining up. So got that. So now I'm just going to bring this back a little bit. We're going to go around this foot here, just like that. We're going to go around this foot here, just like that. And then we're just going to kind of push this out. And you'll notice that like I'm not even using a uh, like a squeegee or anything like that. I'm just kind of doing everything with my hands very lightly. And we're just making sure that everything lines up okay. And we're gonna be, we're gonna be okay. And then worst case scenario, if I screw something up, I can just kind of peel it off and reset. So like that guy ended up with some bubbles there. So I'll just kind of do that again, push it out. So it looks like I shifted this side down a little bit. So let's just peel this up. And we will just adjust. Not that big of a deal. So we'll just pick this up like that. Again, be careful not to stretch. And we will stick it back down and this time let's just try let's just try getting this one right at the beginning here okay so that guy's good this guy's good so what that should mean is if i work this corner out i should be able to end up there we go like that all right so now pull this back a little bit. Pull that back. Like that. And I've done all kinds of different designs over the years. This one's interesting. I did a similar one on Jessica's MacBook. Her color palette's just a little different. It's more of some white and orange in it, but there we go. So that is on. Just kind of push in these corners, make sure everything is good. Push any air out from around these feet. And then that guy is good like that. And now we will open it up. So there's our front. There's our back, looks good. And then, here is our inside. So, on our inside again, we'll kind of do the same thing. And honestly, for the inside, I could kind of take it or leave it. Um, sometimes I pull these off after a while because I don't, I just decide I don't like them. 
Um, really the problem with them usually is that the, um, the touch pad, the texture of the skins is rough because I, I tend to pick things that have a rough texture. This one isn't that way actually. But oftentimes the touch pad texture is rough and then it's like you're, I don't know, it's like hard to track on it. But with a flat one like this, I'm thinking it's going to be better, which is kind of why I chose this one in the first place. So you see, I just kind of stuck that one on freehand, pretty easy to do. You, you kind of get the hang of where these gaps are supposed to be and how large they should be. Uh, so we kind of do the same thing here, just uh, Just uh, put this here. Actually, I'll just peel this off. We'll freehand this guy. So, all I'm doing here is just kind of leaving a little tiny gap on both sides. We'll make sure that they match. Okay, so there's that guy right there. And then we'll just kind of work our way down here. And then you just kind of want to split the difference between the top and bottom. And then you kind of want to pull it, but you don't want to pull too hard because it'll stretch out. You definitely don't want it to stretch out. And it honestly doesn't take a lot of pressure to make it stretch out. Okay. So you'll see that I actually stretch that just slightly. So I'll show you how we can deal with that here. So number one, let's Let's pull this back a minute and let's just let it sit. And oftentimes, if you just let this rest, it'll kind of calm back down. So we're gonna put this one on and then we're going to, uh, we're gonna come back here. So, On this one, I'm really I'm pretty focused on the uh, the gap between the trackpad and the wall here, and then just kind of making sure that I'm over far enough to clear the speaker. So there we are, like that, and then. Kind of keep this one straight. And then And then just kind of 
fix these. So just like that, and then just kind of do the same on this side. So actually you want to be closer to the edge, closer to the outside edge. There's a little bit more of a gap in the middle here. And a tool like a, like a plastic pry bar or a plastic uh, scraper could be super useful here if you need to kind of peel something off. So we're going to just pull that back a little bit like that and then like that Just push this out and just make sure that this bar here lays flat. These thin parts are a little tough because they can stretch because they're so thin. So you might find that you need to this. And what you can do if you stretch it a little bit too much is you could just give it a little bit of heat. Hair dryer is actually um, preferred over a heat gun if you're not, um, if you haven't done a lot of these because a heat gun generates a lot of heat and you can actually melt this. So that's it. So that guy's stuck. Let's do the same with this. And we will and we'll see that now that we have kind of let this guy sit a minute, it actually lines, lines right up. We just had that little bit of a stretch from pulling it across and getting it off of the sticky that is now taken care of. So, like I said, the palm rest I can kind of take or leave, but this top and this bottom you can take a computer that's a year or two old, take this case, this uh, skin off of it, and it looks like brand new. So the next thing that you want to do is you just want to take a heat gun or a hair dryer and you just kind of want to heat the edges and just kind of squeeze them out and make sure that they're all stuck really well. Um, but once you're done with that, you're, you're pretty good to go. So um, thank you for watching. And uh, there are videos on dbrand on how to do this too, but this is how I do them. And I'm just a dude, just a, a human and I'm able to do them successfully, so you should be too. Thank you for watching and have a great day.